Good morning, Cornerstone, and Happy New Year. Uh, here with your first inspirational vitamin of the year. Uh, it is Monday, January 3rd of 2022. And I'm just so excited about uh, God, my relationship with God, our relationship with God this year. Um, yeah, the, the video I showed during my sermon yesterday, which really is the basis for our theme this year, which our theme is He Is. And we're going to be looking at characteristics of God, characteristics, attributes, qualities, the names of God, et cetera, um, this year. And I'm really excited. Um, <clears throat> the way I'm going on this personal journey is I'm going to be reading, as I shared yesterday, uh, Quest 52 uh, by Mark E. Moore, a 15 minute a day, year long pursuit of Jesus. And, you know, I think as we seek and search, or at least for me, Jesus in the scriptures and really get closer to him, um, it's going to help us to learn more and more about who he is, who God is, who the spirit is, um, who the son is. And so uh, for my inspirational vitamin for today, I'm going to be basing it in the devotional I did. Again, I started week one of this. Hopefully those of you that got this book um, are reading, uh, you've already read the introduction, you're starting chapter one. And um, uh, the verse for today is John 1, 1 through 18. And so I'm going to read this and then uh, share uh, the question that we have for today and just some brief thoughts. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through him, and apart from him, not one thing was created, created that has been created. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all men might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was created through him, and yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, he gave them the right to be children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of natural descent or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. We observed his glory, the glory as the one and only son from the father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him and exclaimed, this was the one of whom I've said, the one coming after me ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. Indeed, we have all received grace upon grace from his fullness. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the one and only son, who is himself God and is at the Father's side, he has revealed him. <clears throat> and so the title of, of, of the lesson, uh, the devotional today is, Is God Jesus? And I think the scripture, um, scripture gives us a resounding yes to that question, John chapter one, Colossians one, Hebrews one, um, <clears throat> Isaiah seven. I mean, there are lots of verses that really testify to the idea that Jesus is divine. He's fully human and fully divine. Uh, but the question for today is, you know, what is the most important thing you know about God because of Jesus? And so this idea that Jesus revealed God's character, his heart, his personality even to us. So what is it that we, that I have learned about God through Jesus? And I think probably for me, the biggest thing is just a reminder that we are made in the image of God. So understand me when I say this, that there's, there's a bit of deity in us and a bit of humanity in God. And again, I'm not trying to be theologically crazy here, but what I mean is you see through Jesus that he gets happy and joyful. That means God gets happy and joyful. You see Jesus gets sad. You see Jesus, uh, you know, struggling in the garden um, when he's praying. You see Jesus angry when people were selling uh, in the market, you know, sell, turning the, the temple into a marketplace. Um, and so that means that God has all those emotions. And so sometimes I think we can feel like, you know, um, man, he cannot relate to us. But I think Jesus truly showed that, that we are, I don't want to say God is like us, that we are like God, you know. And so because we're made in his image, you know, that means that God is, is similar to us. Now, he's holy. He's perfect. We are not. Um, uh, we become holy through Jesus. Um, he's righteous. He's all good. You know, humans are not. But. We have the ability, as it said in that verse, to become children of God. We have the ability to have our sins washed away in the blood of Jesus and have new life, to have the light 
as we follow Jesus. So again, what did I what what did I have I learned about God through Jesus is just um, how much we are actually like Him when we see Jesus' emotions. That 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 God does have emotion, and and He can relate to the things that we go through because it says Jesus was tempted every way, but was without but was without sin. So that's the inspirational vitamin for the day. Hope you're encouraged. Uh, for those of you that have the book, um, again, the introduction, week one, chapter one, uh, for this week, uh, get started. I think it's going to be an awesome adventure as we go on this quest, this adventure to really pursue Jesus. So I love you, Cornerstone. Happy New Year. We'll see you out there.